So joining us today to tell us more about this effort are Michael Loftus. He's the founder of Athletes to End Alzheimer's and Jacqueline Atkins with the Alzheimer's Association. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. So, Michael, let me ask you this, this question. Your father um, inspired mm -hmm. your passion to, to raise awareness. Tell us about that. Well, as I saw the intro, I saw a picture of him, and of course I lit up. Uh, that was my dad. He was the life of the party, to yeah. say the least. He was the uh, commentator, the jokester, and the <laughs> great golfer, uh, a Villanova grad like me, passionate about basketball, so uh, I know he was happy about this year, so just <laughs> life of the party. Wow. For those who don't know, what is it like to watch a loved one uh, slip into Alzheimer's to deal with it? Well, I mean, that's, you know, that's the issue, right? So my dad went from that to, you know, the slow deterioration. For him, it was about six and a half year process while he's in a home. Um, you know, and you go through this, several stages of it, you know, when you see the constant memory loss, kind of a Groundhog Day situation where, you know, things repeat themselves until, you know, you get where they definitely don't remember you and they have issues eating and, you know, and then it just continues from there. So it's surely not a pleasant, and he eventually passed away. He passed in October of 13. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Jacqueline, uh, Michael's not alone. There's a lot of families that, that face this. Oh, absolutely. Um, in the United States alone, there's over 5 million Americans living with this disease. And it doesn't just impact them, it impacts their families, their caregivers, and the capillaries just go spread out among that amount how many people it really impacts. Yeah, so this is, Michael, you, after your father passed away, you wanted to do something to make a difference, and that's why you uh, created Athletes to End Alzheimer's. Tell us about it. Yeah, it was, uh, you know, after going through it, um, and obviously anyone who goes through it, you're doing all the research and you hear all the numbers, you know, I knew I wanted to get involved in some way, and I think there was two objectives, awareness, number one, and then hopefully find something that maybe we could raise some money. Um, and that's how, I mean, the Athletes to End Alzheimer's is actually a brand for the Alzheimer's Association, and they allowed us to use that for the Bethany Beach Run. Wow, you had a lot of success with it last year. You're hoping to surpass that this year. Yes, last year was a huge success. I mean, we had 700 runners for a first year event. is amazing. Uh, most importantly, we donated $18,000 wow. to the cause in our and first year. Can I ask you about the shirt that you've yep. got here on your lap? <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, this will be the logo for this year's uh, race. Right. But uh, the shirt this is, is the this is here? my daughter's team, Team oh. Pappy. Team Pappy. Yep, so she has her own team <laughs> and uh, she actually, uh, my daughter Bridget and a friend Ian raised uh, $1,400 last year That's themselves. That's great. Wow. That's great. And I'm looking forward to actually participating in the race this year and helping you guys out with it. Hopefully the foot. The well, foot will be well. The foot will be well. The foot by will then. be well. As think, long as the voice is good. You yeah, know, you can, yeah, get everyone you're, started you're, you're for the race. You're not relying on me for the run. <laughs> okay, so Jacqueline, what does the Alzheimer's Association do with this money that is raised? So fun, fundraising events like this are ever so important to the association. Um, as I mentioned, Alzheimer's disease is hugely impactful in this country. Um, this year alone, it's going to cost the nation $236 billion. Wow. So it is so important for us to find a cure, which the funds from these events, um, especially this one, will go towards research as well as programs and services that support our local community. So if anyone in the Delmarva area needs help, the Alzheimer's Association is here for them. All right, so hostess and race starter, Give us the when and where. All right, so it's gonna be <laughs> Sunday, August 7th at Bethany Beach. Um, registration is at 6.30 a.m. and the run slash walk starts at 7.30 a.m. I'm gonna be there emceeing the event, looking, very much looking forward to it. First it's thing in the morning when it's cooler than instead of the heat of the day, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Good <laughs> idea there. We'll have lots of water for you. Lots <laughs> of water. Michael, thank you so much. Thank for you for joining us. Yes, thank you so much. Best of luck with the event. Yeah.